Good morning, Year Ones, and welcome back to your phonics lesson number 51. Now, Miss Simone rang me this morning. She said she's having too much fun on that holiday, and she asked me to fill in again today. So, you ready to get started? We're going to do some morphology today. So, morphology with Ashley. Sounds like fun. Should we get started with your homework? Because she left the homework for me again this time, but I did it. I hope she's proud of me. So, in this homework, we had to add the vowel suffix er, er, to the end of these verbs. So dream became dreamer, print became printer, employ became employer, work became worker, catch became catcher, and lead became leader. Now, we don't say dream-er, print-er, employ-er, do we? Remember that schwa <clears throat> that we looked at a couple of lessons ago? We say the schwa when we see the ER at the end of a word. Now, just to remind you, we don't actually write this symbol when we hear the schwa. This is just the symbol that really clever people use to represent the schwa sound. And remember, the schwa is the most common vowel sound in Australian English. I'd better put him back to bed. He's got lots of work to do. All right. Now, did you write a sentence for any of your words? I think I'll write a sentence with you now. Um, aha. I'm going to write the leader, leader was a hard, hard, what? Hard dreamer? Doesn't make sense. Hard catcher? No. Hard worker? Yeah. Work. Uh. The leader was a hard worker. Leaders do have to be hard workers. Hope you're a hard worker today for our lesson, but we're gonna have lots of fun. So let's get rid of our homework and get started on our morphology lesson. So let's get our brains ready for learning and let's review some of the suffixes we've learnt in previous lessons. Vowel suffix, es, means plural, more than one, we add it to the end of hissing sounds like dresses, catches. Suffix s means plural, more than one, like dogs, cats. Vowel suffix ing, we add them to verbs to show it's happening now. And the last suffix we learnt together was ER, meaning one who, thing that. One who teaches is a teacher. One who dreams is a dreamer. One who works is a worker. Are you ready to be a worker today? Right. Let's look at some definitions we've learnt as well. Aha, our favourite, the schwa, is a vowel sound that is spoken without any stress. I feel like we're going to hear lots of schwa's today. A noun is a thing, person, object or concept. A verb is the action part of a sentence. It tells us that something's happening. A syllable is a beat in a word and always has a vowel sound. And the one, one, one rule, you're pretty clever. So if the base word has one syllable, one short vowel followed by one consonant, we double the last consonant when adding a vowel suffix. We're going to practice that today. Are you ready? Let's look at some words with the suffixes we've been learning. We're going to practice them in our words to read today. Right. Just going to have a quick scan, get my brain ready for reading. Aha, 
Can you see those suffixes at the end there? Might just put a little line under them to get us ready. I think Miss Simone likes to double line, doesn't she? I think I might do that too. S ing er. S ing er. Ing, uh, can you hear a pattern here? I think we're pat practicing plural suffix s e s. Vowel suffix ing happening now. Vowel suffix e r turning a verb into a noun. All right, you ready to read? Let's have a go. Stomp, stomp. Stomps, stomps. She stomps when she's not happy. Stomping. I am stomping right now. Stomper. She is such a stomper. Let's read them quickly. Stomp, stomps, stomping, stomper. You ready to move on? We've got that pattern now, haven't we? What does this word say? Up, jump, jumps, jumping, jumper. I like to jump. He likes to jump too, so he jumps. We are jumping. He is such a jumper when he is happy. Let's read them quickly. Jump, jumps, jumping, jumper. Next word. L O. Here's that vowel digraph. Blow. Blows. Blowing. Blower. But we don't say blower. Remember that schwa sound? Blower. Blower. Uh. Let's read them quickly. Blow. Blows. Blowing. Blower. I like to blow bubbles. She, she blows bubbles. We are blowing bubbles. We are bubble blowers. We, we are blower, blowing bubbles. <laughs> That's a funny word, isn't it? Oh, my favorite word in the whole wide world. T, e, ch, t, e, ch, teach. I love to teach. T, e, ches. Remember, add e, s, to the end of this word because it ends in that that hissing consonant sound. Ch, teachers. We don't say teachers. I think I'd pull a muscle if I had to speak like that. Teachers. There's that schwa again. Teachers. Teachers. Teaching. Teacher. One who teaches is a teacher. Let's say those, let's read those words quickly. Teach, teachers, teaching, teacher. I teach, she teaches, I love teaching, I am a teacher. How did you go with those? Is your reading getting faster and more fluent? It's good to practice reading every single day. All right. Let's move on. And look at our new suffix today. Are you ready? Now, don't get surprised. This is our new learning today. E-R, one who, thing that. And I know you're going to say, Ashley, we've already done that with Miss Simone. Well, you have. But because I know that you are so clever, we're actually going to look at the one, one, one rule when adding a vowel suffix er. Okay, we're going to the next level of morphology today. We're going to apply the 111 rule when adding the er suffix to a base word. Are you ready to rock and roll? We're going to have lots of fun. Okay, so let's just revisit the 111 rule. If the base word has one syllable, one short vowel followed by one consonant, 
we double the last consonant when adding the vowel suffix. Why is it a vowel suffix? You're right, because it starts with a vowel. The vowel is the E. Now, when reading these words, we know that the vowel in the base word is short because it has a double consonant after it. And I'll show you what I mean right now. Okay. Now, before we start, let's warm up our ears and do some blending. Should we do some Kung Fu together? I like Kung Fu too. Right, stand up, get ready to punch out those sounds. Our first word is runner. Runner. Ready? Er, ah, mm, uh. Runner. Did you hear the schwa sound at the end? I did. Next word, skimmer. Huh. Sk, it, mm, uh. Skimmer. Sounds funny, doesn't it? Next word is digger. Digger. Huh. D, I, g, uh. Digger. Last word, clapper. Clapper. K, u, a, p, u. Clapper. Ooh, you're pretty good at Kung Fu. I think you've been practicing that, haven't you? All right, should we read some words now? And let's practice reading words with that one, one, one rule applied. Okay, are you ready to read? Let's just scan the words first and get our brains ready for reading. Hmm, I can see lots of our ER suffixes. Can you see them? Do you remember what's special about that ER at the end of a word? We don't say er, uh, we make that schwa sound. Uh. Like someone's poking you in the tummy. Uh. Uh. Got it? All right. Hmm. Oh, this word looks a bit tricky. Let's fill that in there. It's got that GG in the middle. Let's see what the base word is. Jog. One syllable, jog. Jung, hmm. One short vowel, op. One consonant. What do we have to do to that final consonant if that is there? We double it and add ER. Jog, jog, g, jog. We don't say jog, g, but when we use our spelling voice, I say jog, g. Helps me remember to double that consonant. Should we have a look at the next word? Let's see if we can find the base word. Sp, i, n, spin. Let's check our one, one, one rule. One syllable, hmm, spin, one syllable. Short vowel, i, mm hmm followed by one consonant, mm hmm What do we have to do to that last consonant? We double it and add er. Let's read that word now. Spin, ner, spinner. Let's go to the last word. Find that base word. St, i, k, stick. Mm -hmm. That's a word. Add er. But we didn't double the final consonant. Do you know why? Let's go back and check. Stick. How many syllables? Hmm. One. Short vowel? Yes. Followed by one consonant? Bow, bow. There's two consonants there, so we don't have to double it. We just add ER. Let's read those words quickly. Jogger, spinner, sticker. And again, jogger, spinner, sticker. We only had to double those consonants. Should we try the next row? Let's go. Find the base word. Shop. Ooh, I love to shop. Shop. Add ER, but we've got to check first the 111 rule. Shop, hmm, 
One syllable. Short vowel. Looking good. One consonant. What do we do? Double the consonant. Add ER. What does that word now say? Shopper. Shopper. Remember that schwa sound. Next word, let's find the base word. B eat. Beat. I have to beat eggs when I bake a cake. Yep, beat. Let's do our one 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 rule check. Beat. Hmm. One syllable. E. That's not a short vowel, that's a long vowel. But it has one consonant. Beat. I don't have to double that last consonant because it's got a long vowel. So I just add ER. What does that word now say? Beater. Beater. I have a beater that mixes the eggs for me. Okay, last word in this row. Let's find the base word. Clap. Clap. How many syllables? Hmm. One. Short vowel? At. One consonant? Mm-hmm. What do we have to do to that last consonant when we add er? Double it. Add er. What does that word say now? Clapper. Clapper. Let's read those words quickly. Shopper, beater, clapper. Again, faster. Shopper, beater, clapper. Last row. I feel like we're really getting this today. Let's find the base word. Read. Read. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? How many syllables? Hmm. One. Short vowel? E. One consonant trying to trick us. You can't trick us. We don't need to add a double consonant there, do we? We just add ER. Reader. I love to read. I am a reader. Next word. Let's find the base word. R uh, mm, run. I love to run. Now, let's do our check. Run. Hmm, one syllable. Short vowel, one consonant. Ooh, I'm getting excited. What do we do when we add the vowel suffix ER? Double that consonant, add ER. What's the word now? Runner, runner. I love to run. I am a runner. Last word, let's find the base word. J -a -mp. Yep. That's the base word, jump. Let's count syllables. Hmm. One syllable. Ah. Uh, short vowel. Followed by m. Mm, followed by two consonants. Trying to trick us on the last one, huh? So when we add the vowel suffix, do we double anything? No. We just add er. It didn't follow the one 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 rule. I jump. I am a jumper. Let's read those words together. Reader, runner, jumper. Remember that schwa sound at the end? Ready to read fast? Reader, runner, jumper. Let's read all of the words together. We're such good readers now. Here we go. Jogger, spinner, sticker, shopper, beater, clapper, Reader, runner, jumper. Remember I told you that schwa sound is the most common vowel sound in Australian English? Here you go. Here's proof. It's at the end of all of these words. Great reading. Shall we do some spelling now? Right. While I take this off, you run and get a pencil and some paper to write on. I'll have a quick break. And I'll see you back here in a few seconds. Ready? Let's go. You ready to rock and roll? We've got some work to do. Okay. So this is what we're going to do for our writing today. I'm going to guide you through this activity because this is what we'll be doing for homework today. So make sure you pay attention. So I've got my reminder here of the one, 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 one rule to help us as we do this activity. Okay. So we have to sort 
these words into whether they are in the doubling rule, 111, or no doubling rule. Okay, here we go. The first word is jog. I like to read words as whole words. See if you can do that with me. Jog, jog. Okay, let's check the 111 rule. Does it have one syllable? Hmm, yes. Does it have a short vowel? Jog. Yes. Does it have one consonant? Yes. So where will I write it? Doubling or no doubling? You're right, in the doubling rule column. Oh, g. Now use your spelling voice here. G, uh, jog. So see how we doubled that consonant. Next word. Let's read it as a whole word. Hop, hop. Check one syllable. Hmm. Yes. Short vowel. Oh. Yes. One consonant. Yes. Looks like we're doubling again, guys. Hopper. Hop. Spelling voice. Per. Hopper. Hopper. Next word. Stop. Stop. Hmm. One syllable. Short vowel. One consonant. We're on a roll. Let's go. Let's write it. Spelling voice. Stop. Per. Stop her. We're good at this. Next one. T teach. Teach. Let's do our, ch our check. Teach. Hmm. One syllable. E. Long vowel. Woo. Two consonants. Even though they make one sound, there's still two consonants. T each. So do we have to double? Mm -mm. Can't trick you, can I? Let's write that one over here. Add ER. Teach. Uh, teacher. Next one. Kiss. Hmm. One syllable. E. Short vowel. Uh, two consonants. Kiss, sir. It's not going to go there, is it? It doesn't follow the rule, so we put it over here. Kiss, uh, kisser, kisser. Good job. Last word, tap. Hmm, one syllable. Short vowel, one consonant. Whoop. We're going to put it in our doubling column, aren't we? Here we go. Spelling voice, tap, per. Tap her. Remember, we don't say tap her. That's just our spelling voice. Tap her. Tap her. When you get really good at reading and spelling, you won't have to do that. You'll just remember because these words are moving from the front of your brain where it's new learning and the more you read and write and practice, it moves into the back part of your brain and it stays there forever. You've just got to make sure you practice lots and lots. So make sure when we do our homework today, you practice lots and lots. Okay, great job. Okay, you ready to do some reading? I am. I love reading. I am a reader. I think you are a reader too, aren't you? Okay. All right, let's do some reading. Now, before I read, I like to scan the text and make sure I, I notice things that might try and trick me up. All right, so today I'm scanning for that ER suffix. You want to help me scan? Let's go. Oh. There's one. Loves. Oh, that looks like our S suffix. Swimming. Hey, there's our ing suffix. I think this is going to have lots of suffixes in it today. <laughs> there's another one. <gasps> I can see a double consonant. Hmm. She feels. Looks like another suffix. <gasps> Here's another suffix. Okay, I've scanned the text. I'm getting my brain ready for reading. 
You ready to read with me? Let's go. My teach er. We say teach er. Oh, well, we read teach er in our brain, but we say teacher. My teacher loves swimming. Swimming. What's the base word there? Swim. But we've doubled that consonant. Swimming. My teacher loves swimming. She is a slow, slow swimmer, swimmer, but she is not a quit, quit, quitter. She is not a quitter. She feels, feels like a win, winner, winner, because she is fit. Should we read that again? Let's try and read in our reading voice a bit more fluently. My teacher loves swimming. She is a slow swimmer, but she is not a quitter. She feels like a winner because she is fit. One more time. Let's read it again. This time, let's read it like we're saying it to someone. My teacher loves swimming. She is a slow swimmer, but she is not a quitter. She feels like a winner because she is fit. I like to swim. I'm not very fast either, but I feel really good when I exercise. I hope you like to exercise too, just like this teacher. Great reading. Shall we look at some homework? This looks pretty familiar, so I hope you're feeling confident. Okay, what does it say? Sort the words into the correct column. Doubling rule? No doubling rule. Hmm, we're pretty good with that doubling rule now. So let's do the first one together. Let's read the whole word. Skip, skip, skip. Let's do our test. Hmm, one syllable. I, short vowel, one consonant. You've got it. We need to double the last consonant when we add ER. So we're going to add ER. Skipper. Let's write it here. Skip. Spelling voice. Per. Skipper. Do you know I've noticed something? In all the things we've done today, when I see this double consonant or two consonants, the vowel is always short. Hmm. See if you can find words today with a double consonant, the same consonant twice, and see if those vowels are always short. Maybe it's just me that's noticed that. Okay, do the rest of these words, add ER, but sort them into their column. No doubling or doubling the consonant. Okay, I think you're gonna be fine with that. So have fun doing your homework. You're champions at this, it's gonna be easy. Have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you later, alligator. Bye.